Hi friends, it's Chrissy here and I want to take you on a little booth tour of booth 32. It's one of my favorite ones right now. It's full of vintage Christmas and just all kinds of beautiful fun things. So come along, explore with me and let's see what kind of goodies we can find. So first off, I'm starting here um, in the top corner. Like, look at these cute vintage sleigh with reindeers. I mean, can I zoom in? It's hard to pick them up with one hand, but aren't these adorable? They are so, so cute. Um, and they she has actually two. One with a complete set, and then there's this guy that he only has, you know, the one set of reindeers with him, but... They are super, super cute, super vintage. Um, I don't know. I, I just, I love that. Especially this one with all of the reindeers. I don't know. He's just so cute. I don't know. I got so much Christmas. I don't need no more, but they're very tempting. These are cute little stocking hangers. Um, they kind of look like they might have been custom made um, with this rod. I mean, they're pretty heavy duty. Super cute. Um, then she goes down. She has this really nice sewing sampler frame. So this would be cute if you had a craft room or a sewing room or as a gift. I mean, it's only $8. The wood, it's, I mean, it's a wood frame alone is worth that. She has this cast iron Santa mold. It's only $19 and that's super cute, even just to decorate with, cause you know, I don't cook. So it definitely would be decoration in my house. Um, then here on this little shelf, look how cute this is, how she has it. Adding again, just a little bit of ornaments and beads and garland just to dress this up. But this is actually um, a coin dish. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. You know, we have people come through and they walk through and I don't even think anybody noticed what this was. Red glass coin bowl. Yeah, $30. That is super cute. But the way it's displayed, they probably look at it and just think it's a Christmas decoration, but it, it really is the deal. Um, a vintage squeaky snowman ornament. That's interesting. I don't see a marking on it. It's cute little Santa. Oh, there we go. Road Studios, 1990. Oh, Norman Rockwell. Santa, $15. Plastic boot. I think candy used to come in these because I feel like I, I remember these as a kid. Uh, but she could decorate with that. Then she has a shelf here. Look how she just set these placemats back here, how cute that is. And then this wood box, and then just has miscellaneous silverware in it. Um, a baggie of cute ornaments. Um, and then a lot of kitchen goods. Oh, even a, a hand drill is hanging here on the side. But the hand drill is 13. A lot of little Christmas goodies. I mean, kitchen goodies. This looks like the tag fell off of it. But yeah, I'm sure people just that like to dig and plunder, they just love to go through it. Whip it, egg whip. That looks um, interesting and dangerous at the same time. There's even an oil can laying in there. I recommend vendors to set their oil cans up and away from product because that grease and film just gets on everything. And a lot of customers don't like touching that and getting that on their hands. But if they see it they can make the decision if they want to risk touching it or not. So um, just a little, you know, ding, ding, side note to make sure you can um, do that if you have oil cans. So here we have, um, oh, this a lot of cute little dishes, a divided dish. Um, it's all aluminum, hammered. Um, yeah, this is, yeah, very cute. So a lot of great pieces. I don't know if it has the glass in it. No, she's hiding bags in there. And then this little cute ice bucket. How cute is that? The handle goes up and the lid goes. Um, she has some old railroad blocks here. Ethan's block. I mean, those suckers are heavy. She has some old railroad spikes. And she's put a little bow on them to add a little color. Super cute. And then she has a cedar chest here that she's using like a toy box. So, oh, and she does have some aprons hanging here. This really cute um, Christmas tree skirt that is adorable. Only $18. Some stockings. This is beautiful for all the work that went in that cross-stitch picture. If you guys can see that there, that's beautiful. Um, a very Merry Christmas and the life was the light of men. Very cute. But anyway, going back here slowly to this... Um, 
cedar chest. She has it full of vintage toys, a piggy banks. Oh gosh, I remember him as a kid. Oh gosh. Yeah, you pull him along and he walks. Yeah, so fun. She has the the cord stuck on him. I don't see a price. So I might have to tell her that some of the things. These popcorn poppers, when they're in the store, I hear kids walk around. They love these things. It's like the gift that you bring and leave at Grandma's house. Um, a xylophone, Fisher Price one, ten dollars. And I'm not gonna lie, I still have my xylophone. Um, and every once in a while, just to relax or chill, I'll take and I'll just beat on it because the sound is, I don't know, to me it's relaxing. She don't have the little thing on it, but I guess this is, maybe this is the one you wheel and it hits them. I can't remember, but, um, a Mickey Mouse toy. Isn't he cute? So, oh, here's a tag for something. Oh, the Fisher Price Pool Hound. She has $22 on. So, what do we have here? A little tyke's cow. Oh, that came apart. Oh, and inside it has all these little characters, and it gets smaller and smaller and smaller, kind of like the Russian nesting doll sets. Um, that's super cute. They call it a stackable, but it's kind of like the whole nesting doll thing. There's a pig and a lamb, I guess that's supposed to be, or a sheep. And then the top one's a cow, so very cute. So she has a bag of these little dolls. And I had these as a kid, and I just, I loved them. For some reason, a lot of little girls like little tiny things. So uh, that would be a good little gift, stocking stuffer. And then let's see what we have here. Snoopy pool toy. Isn't he cute? Uh, what does it say? Hasbro Tootsie toy. Uh, 1972 was the last uh, for when this one was made. So now my thumb is stuck. There we go. Thank you, Woody. And we got some t a Tinker Toy tin. It's empty. But if you decorate with vintage fun stuff, that would be cute. Look at this Mickey mug. That is so cute. $3. I don't see a date on it, but it has a place for a straw. <clears throat> oh, and here it says Walt Disney Production on the side. That is so cute. I'll set him over here a little bit. Um, and then what is this? Vintage ball and string toy. Yeah, that, I mean, think about, there was a day that this kept kids entertained for hours, guys, where you like, you know, had to swing the string to get the ball in the pipe. Yeah, that was a real thing, so... You know, I guess we should go back to those times, right? Um, and then this is a Fisher Price Crazy Combo Horn Scent. Now, this is kind of tempting for me to get. My brother has a 12-year-old, a 4-year-old, and a 2-year-old. Um, all boys. This is kind of one of those tempting gifts that, I don't know, some people might call it revenge or payback. I'm not sure. But it's kind of tempting not to want to get him that. You know, any noisemaker, really, for my nephews is a, a good idea. But look at that. Isn't that cute? $14. I think they would have a great time with that. Crazy combo horn set, it says. That is super cute. So definitely going to have to be thinking about that one. You know, the louder, the better is what I'm thinking. And then there's an old cap gun in here. Pony Boy Cap Gun, $7. So I don't even think people have stopped to like look through this little chest because it's full of some fun, fun things. Um, put this back in here. And then she has some Christmas um, tablecloth and linens here. And then looks like some puzzles and board games. For cheesy scramble. Look at this. She has, sorry guys, I'm trying to not make a huge mess here and make the camera shake too much, but this is a tree skirt, which a lot of work you can see went into it. If you're into that vintage style, yeah, latch hook poinsettia tree skirt, $25. That's super cute. 
And these old wreaths here. I remember my mom had one of those. Super cute. I love these old vintage playing cards. $9. I mean, it's still soft on the box there. But they're just, they're elegant looking. I don't know. Um, oh, look, the old media box. How cute. And this little shoe. Is that... Oh yeah, from Japan, Napco, cute, cute. So yeah, there's definitely, um, look at this Santa, plastic Santa. And these are adorable, Mr. and Mrs. Santa, salt and pepper shakers, the little boots. See just how adding those ornaments really jazz it up. And these holiday candlesticks, which I think they're Teleflora, they're not old, but they are cute could decorate with them and then so she has some more modern and vintage but the way it's displayed it's just so darn cute you know even like putting the snow babies in here on this little tree you know it just I don't know it's so cute it's all I can keep saying is and she has some cookie cutters in there but I can't stress, like, the presentation is everything. And I think she has a great presentation. She has some shiny brights down there. Um, what is that? Jane and Jenny Dow. Yeah, in the box. She's cute. Beer Steins. You know, this Christmas centerpiece. Model cars. You know, again, new and old and vintage and... A little bit of everything, even how she has, you know, the Moon and Stars Amber dish here. You don't, it just, everything looks festive and cute. So it's amazing how you can just take anything and put it together in a nice setting. How cute it can be. And this is one of those picture dividers where she took all the picture frames out and put her ornaments in it. And I thought that was a great idea with little T-hooks. It displays them so, so nice. And then I want to show you up here her adorable wall hanging. She has a styrofoam Santa head. And then all this. She has a, um, a sled, an empire lighted Santa, you know, a Tonka truck, all these different things. And to make it a little bit simpler, um, she put this piece of paper here. So that way we can see exactly what it is without getting each item down each and every time somebody asks. And then up here she has a uh, middle, Lee Middleton doll in a box, some other baby dolls, poinsettias. I don't know if you guys can see that. There we go. Maybe that's a little bit better. Yeah, there we go. There's the old Lee Middleton doll. She's super cute. Kind of looks like me when I was a kid, um, but cuter probably. But anyway, uh, she has some cute bar mirrors in here, some old vintage puzzles. Some record albums, more baby dolls, um, Christmas glasses, super, super cute. But I want to come out here and stand, besides the pictures, uh, or the toys I left sit on the floor, overall, it's a cute presentation, how she put the door up there with stuff up on top, then she used all these crates, and then that picture divider to put her ornaments on. It's just a nice presentation of all of her products and it gives you an overall warm, beautiful, fun, festive feeling whenever you go in there. Um, so right now it's one of my favorite booths in the store because I love vintage at Christmas um, and I just think it looks really, really nice. So I hope you enjoyed this tour with me. Um, if you have any suggestions, comments, if there's anything you love and you just can't live without and you want to buy it, you know, ship me a message. And until next time, thank you guys. Merry Christmas and hope to see you next year.